What is up, everybody? It's time for another combo review, and it is once again time for an Infinity tie-in review, and it is Avengers Assemble, number 20. So this comic starts off with a flashback to the main character of the, this, this story and her husband, and how they met, and how they're, he was a punk rocker and never changed, and they eventually lost their, lost their child, and they kind of grew distant, and then we go right into the comic. So we have immediately, I guess, Wonder Man Wasp. Wonder Man and Wasp are doing some sort of battle with someone and they beat them and then there's the, having a little bit of argument between the th two, three of them that Wonder Man is really doesn't want to be, doesn't want to be, not, doesn't want to be violent towards people and he's like, I guess he's turned over newly, born again Christian superhero. So Wanda is talk, trying to talk, to, uh, interrupts them in their little wobble and says, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there's a big dude, and a really big man walking the streets, really, really big naked dude running, walking around the city. They flick back to a couple minutes before, and this actually story has to do with the fall of Atlanta. And so we start off this mist going through the city and the, the, the person that we were talking about at the very beginning, she is affected by the mist because she is an inhuman, a sleeping inhuman. So she gets put into this little bubble thing and when it, this little bubble thing. And so we quickly flick back over to the uh, the Avengers assembled um, guys. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what their Avengers team name is, but anyway. So this guy freaks out and sees you're aliens and like backhands the the Quinjet or whatever they're driving. I think it's a Quinjet. So they're about to crash, and Scarlet Witch changes the probability of the bit plane landing safely. So they they land safely, and. Wonder Man quickly says, pardon me while well, I have to get my hands dirty, and he go, goes to attack the guy, but then stops and tries to talk talk him down, and he's saying, did you kill my wife? And he's, Wonder Man's like, wait a second, what's going on? And they flick over, it's like, did you do that? And he turns over and where the house used to be, it's like destroyed, or it's gone. And we quickly flack, flick back over to what happened earlier. His wife got put into this into this bubble and it cracks open and then a, a lightning bolt hits him and he grew and the house was destroyed or house was dis the house was disintegrated wasps asks scholar witch to change give her a hex to make her really 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 small because she has an idea so she does this she goes really small the artwork in this is really good i really like the pain you can see almost on wasps face that What's happening is quite painful. So we go, she goes into the microverse and she meets someone, apparently she met there before, I guess when I wasn't reading comic books. Someone, maybe someone could tell you what's going on because I don't know who this guy, this centaur dude is. So he was Gazor, Gazar, and he is a, has this little girl by the throat and she attacks him, but she can't, apparently can't use her pin particles because it hurts her if she's that small. And she eventually talks to this girl that did, that was in the cocoon to use, try to use her powers again. And she does. And she grows everyone back to normal size. And Gonzar, whatever his name is, gets defeated by this girl because this little girl I got by the throat says bad pony and like steps on him. And it was pretty funny. So the house grows back to normal, and the the man, and the wife, and the husband are have a newfound love for each other, and they kind of funny how like maybe I'll be soup, I'll be grow gal, or uh, no, the size queen. But I thought it was really, it was really interesting, really cute episode, really really cute, really cute comic, and I really enjoyed it, and I would give this a. 7 out of 10.
wasn't masterful, but it was really cute and it's enjoyable to read. So, what did you read Avengers Assemble and what did you think about it? Give me in the tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the Comic Book Addict for to get all your comic book review needs. And that is about it. I'm the Comic Book Addict, and I'm signing off.